and we'll get through the problem. Now, let's go through the exact same process like we've done before. If I asked you to find the domain, we know that the only number that does not fall within this domain is 4. So it's negative infinity to 4 union 4 to infinity. Can everybody agree with my domain? All real numbers except for 4 written in no interval notation. OK, now let's follow our process. First thing we need to do is swap the x and the y's. OK, followed the first step. I swapped. Now I need to solve. Again, as I mentioned, whenever you have a variable in the denominator, first thing you should always be doing is let's get that variable off the denominator. So therefore, what I'm going to want to do is multiply by y minus 4 on both sides. Okay. Anytime you have same expression in the numerator and the denominator, when there's, these are separated by multiplication, that's why I can divide them out. Since they're separated by multiplication, I divide them out. So now I'm left with this equation, y minus 4 times x equals 2y plus 1. Now, if you guys remember in Algebra 1, and algebra, mostly in Algebra 1, when we were solving for equations, which we called multi-step equations, the variable had to be on the same side, right? Correct? Well, I have variables on both sides. So I want to get the variables on the same side. I have a problem here, though. This is being multiplied by x. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is simplify this to get rid of these parentheses. So therefore, I now have yx minus 4x equals 2y plus 1. Now, since I have distributed it, now is it easier to get the y's to the same side? Yes. So I will subtract a 2y on both sides, and I'll add a 4x on both sides. Now I am left with 2x minus 2y equals 1 plus 4x. And you might still be saying to me, it still looks really confusing. Well, yes, because to solve for y, we have to only have one variable, right? Can't just have y, y, y. Can't say yx minus 2y equals. No, we need y. So, yes? Because I want to get the y's on the left side, everything else on the right side. Does that make sense? So now, to get the y's separated, I factor out the y, which leaves me with an x minus 2. Now, to solve for y, I can divide by x minus 2. So my inverse function is f inverse of x equals, I'm going to rewrite this as 4x plus 1 over x minus 2. Now, we can see that the domain of this function is all numbers except for the number 2. So I'd say negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity. So identifying the range of my function would be negative infinity to 2, union 2 to infinity. Okay, It is an algebraic process, guys. But again, just to remind you, it's just algebra. 